Hey, I'm Mark Edward Lewis, and welcome to Cinema Sound Studio B. On the forum a few weeks ago, we had somebody ask, what do we send to the camera reference from the audio mixer on set? Now, the audio mixer may have, you know, eight or more channels, microphones all over the place. Do we want to send all of them back to the camera reference? The quick answer is, yeah, you do. But the longer answer is, no, you don't. Imagine you had two actors, each with a lav, and then a boom but the boom, uh, the, the boom operator holding and you know, going back and forth between. What you've actually got there is a lot of phase issues. And if you sum them all to mono, which, would, how you, which is exactly how you would send it to the camera, which is a mono input, you're going to have these weird kind of weird sounds. And if you're using Pluralize or some other automated system to sync your audio, you may end up with problems. And you're definitely going to end up with problems if in the edit, you're just using that camera reference to do your cut. You're going to have a director going, why does that sound funny? Or a producer or worse. So the quick and down and dirty easy way to deal with that is simply send one channel that covers as much dialogue on your scene as possible. And usually that's the boom pole, or the shotgun mic. Because hopefully if you've got a good boom operator, they're pointing it between them, you know, not just sticking it at the ground and hoping for the best. The next best thing is to send the two labs, and you can sum those. And unless they get really close, like they're going to hug each other or something, then, you know, you just get the... <laughs> stop until they do that. <laughs> Usually people get over that. That would be your next best bet. And then after that, it depends on how many stationary mics you have set up or how many actors. Now, if you've got a situation where you've got five actors and each one of them has a lab and then you have two boom poles, well, again, I'd go with the two boom poles and make that happen. That's the general gist. It's not a hard and fast rule by any means, but if you want clean audio that doesn't have phase issues on your reference track on your camera, choosing fewer microphones than more is always the answer. Let us know how it's going for you on your set by getting in touch with us at cinemasound.com and letting us know on the forum or the blog if you have any questions and how it's going for you. Until then, we'll see you on set. 